Is this kind of the same vibes you're getting with that January 24th where, you know, we kind of bottomed out or that March 2020? Is th- are you getting the same vibes as, you know, these whales coming off the sidelines? Is this kind of looking like a, a short term bottom signal? Well, I, I think this is a, a totally different time. This is I, I think to look back and compare this to the summer crash. I think is irresponsible. Um, and so the main reason for that is because obviously there is some effect, you know, regardless of what the strict, strict TA guys say, there is some effect fundamentally of what is going on around in the world right now. There is, uh, you know, people are, you know, sighing with uh, nervousness and anxiety right now. I know a lot of people who have asked me, like, you know, how how can you get your money, like, out of cash and uh, things like that. We see what's happening in Ukraine and Russia with the um, uh, with the ATMs. Uh, we saw that Russia said they will seize accounts from people there. People are scared and they're wanting to move into Bitcoin. So I think this is actually being driven kind of by the use case of Bitcoin. This has been a walking advertisement for Bitcoin going back to what was going on in Canada, moving forward to what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. This is a walking advertisement for Bitcoin. And so I think that we're seeing a lot of people move in and it's not, this is different because it's not just for money. Like it's not just for investment purposes. Mm-hmm. However, there's a compound effect where when you have people go piling in for whatever reason, now price starts moving. Now people start thinking speculation again. I, I think that this is, you know, this is the litmus test for what's going to happen for the rest, I believe, of this year. If we do go back down in the low 30s, whether it's 34, 35, 33 from here, I think it's going to be hard unless there's some kind of catastrophic, like similar to the pandemic crash that just goes down and comes back up. I think that it's going to be hard to see uh, us ending this year on a positive note. However, you know, we're crossing our fingers. Maybe Benjamin Cowan is right about his lengthening cycles theory. Maybe that's something we're going to see. And, you know, if we get above 46K, like Garrett says, we can. I think that does open up, like, a lot of possibilities for what this year could be. In the last several months, you know, nobody's really been feeling that LinkedIn cycle thing because we've been wondering how low is it going to go down. And this could actually be what breaks the traditional, you know, Bitcoin cycles, in my opinion, which is something really strong and fundamental. Yeah, and fundamental. I'm glad you said that word because, you know, just the thought of pumping off fundamentals and not technicals or this, that, or the other is, Definitely a good feeling because, you know, the fundamentals are there. The fundamentals are there. You can say that till you're blue in the face and the price normally just does not care 99 times out of 100. 